I think it's a basic human trait. If you look at the history of people on this planet, we've spread across the globe now because we've been driven by that need to explore. My first memory of the ocean would have been, I don't know how old I was, but as a, a little child, smelling the briny air, seeing the surf lap up on the beach. There's something that speaks to you, even when you're a child, you don't realize. It gets into your DNA and uh, haunts you till you connect with it later in life. Exploration really is a, is a personal definition. Dizzying heights in terms of people going to the moon, people going to the top mountains or down to the deepest oceanic trench. The ocean still holds a lot of secrets and mystery. It's very sensory. It wraps around you and calls you. It's full of life. It's full of energy. But it's also very powerful. We really, although have discovered a lot of it, there's still so much more that humans have never touched. So it is, from that point of view, Earth's final frontier. The 1970s is when I really came of age as a scuba diver. I remember a school of hammerhead sharks that swam past me, and there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And I was the only human there witnessing that point in time. Amazing. I really have been all about diving for a long, long time. I made a career of it because I'm passionate about it. I really just couldn't get enough of it. I still can't. If we were sitting here today and you told me that off the coast of Southern California there was a pod of blue whales swimming by and you had a boat ready, I would probably get up and walk off this interview. The neat thing about diving is that it offers you to be a little bit of a jack of all trades. It's a little bit of education and training and adventure and exploration and all those things make for a very enriched life here as a human being on this planet. It continues to change my life and I am still very passionate about it, still love it very much. Once you train a diver and you teach them to dive safely, they tend to care very, very much about the aquatic realm, about its conservation, about its ecology, about its preservation, and about looking after it. The more people that we can bring in as certified scuba divers and teach them those things, the better off that stewardship will be for the long-term survivability and future of the world's oceans. My hope for the future of diving is that more and more citizens of this earth become scuba divers and that they carry forward into the future the same ethics and value systems that their predecessors brought forward, driven by a thirst for adventure and exploration, however they interpret that. In this crazy planet of ours with all the strife and the politics and the unrest, diving still offers escape Diving still gives back more than it takes, and I think the Earth needs a little bit more of that. <laughs>